Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to discuss how to change a humidifier flow in a drum style humidifier. Here we are on location showing the drum style humidifier, showing the fact that it has a replaceable motor and this unit has been overflowing. It's how to change the float assembly in it. When the water level comes up it shuts off. When the water level goes down it lets water in. To keep this foam drum that you see rotating here in a water bath to get water in suspension into the furnace. We turn the water off. The supply Follow that down to the float valve. We're going to turn off the humidifier. This has a little drum assembly on it. Some are different than others. This float is to keep this pan filled with water so this pad is submerged in it. This is old school style humidification. Nowadays, there will be a vertical pad in here. The water will come in at the top. It will travel down a pad and drain out. It's called the flow through. This is called the drum style. These are okay. They're kind of going by the wayside. The parts are getting expensive. The floats are getting to be $30. The motors are getting to be $40. So by the time I buy a couple of parts for this antique, I could take and put a flow through humidifier in here for about $125 and get rid of the water bath and get rid of the drum and the electric motor. What happens is the water comes in the top, cascades through the pad, gets the air through the house and back to the float. It's got a compression fitting, a quarter inch compression fitting. It's rated by the size of the tubing, not by the wrench that the nut uses. You undo that and you notice there's a little rough adjustment here too. You can go up and down with rough adjustment. And that's it. Now, a lot of these will have replaceable parts that you can buy a washer for. This happens to be the lab style float that they've invented that doesn't have a gasket anymore. The gasket is a piece of rubber that's built into the float assembly. So I can't buy and change this gasket. But a lot of these do. So you got to go to heating cool in place or a good hardware store to find parts. I sell a lot of parts for them, but these are starting to go by the wayside. The calcium is a problem and everything. So anyhow, either fix or get a new float and put it back together. Then when you get it in, you can adjust the water level. See the set screw here so that I can set it, say in the middle to begin with, and I check to see if my water level is below the overflow in the tray. So the water level should be about a half inch below this overflow. Any water comes up any higher in this overflow, it drains out and goes down the drain. So you adjust the water level using that screw or the little slider up and down here. So that you get the water level to the right level, tighten up that little thumb screw and away you go. Put it back together, really quite easy. Finding the parts is sometimes the hardest part of this job is finding who stocks these floats or who stacks these parts. You can get them at Gilbert's Hardware, model number, a picture maybe with a tape measure in the background, and these come in multitudes of sizes. This is a general humidifier, a 570, made right here in Novi, Michigan, right in our own state. Very nice. There's an electric solenoid valve that's the same voltage as the motor. Easy to change there. And when this goes bad, this pad comes out of this plastic holder and the water comes in the top, cascades through the pad, through the humidifier into the house, and then the excess water will drain out just like this drain here where when this went bad it drained water. Well now every time this runs it's going to drain a little water. That's it. Humidifier home repair made easy. MrHardware.com